everybody. Welcome back. This is Gina. Today we're going to work on some little fabric embellishments or dangles um, for our journals. And again, we are going to use minimal supplies. And the things I would consider minimal are, you know, some stamps. You don't have to use a stamp. If you've got a nice fabric image, you could use that. Um, but I've got a nice little piece of, it's fairly sturdy fabric here, probably like an upholstery fabric. I got a remnant of this at the thrift store. Uh, very inexpensive. But I want something like this because it's going to make the, the project just a little bit sturdier. Now, if you don't have that, another way you can do it, and I will demonstrate that in the next one, is you can add a bit of cardstock in between your layers, and that'll give it some... Um, rigid, you know, it'll make it a bit more rigid. Um, muslin fabric, I would say it's worth the purchase of a couple of yards of this. You're going to use this time and time again in your journals. And then again, just some book page that you like. You don't have to use book page, but I'm going to choose to do so. Alright, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to stamp an image onto the muslin. This is again one of the field notes. You're probably going to see me using this a lot because I am very limited on stamps at the moment. So I'm going to stamp that image and then I'm just going to rip this down so that that's all I've got is just that image to work with. You're going to need a sewing machine or uh, be able to hand sew as well. So, I've just torn that down there, and you can see I've, I've let that come unraveled. I just think it looks nice. And then I'm going to come back, and I've got a, another little piece of the plain muslin. And I'm going to show you now what we're going to do, because we're going to grab the sewing machine here in a moment. And you're not going to see that part of it, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk you through my my mindset on this. So I'm going to take if you have a, a, a you know a, the same size as you're working with that's fine. I'm just taking bits that I've got gathered up and you're probably thinking well this looks really strange but it'll start to come together here in a moment when I stitch this hopefully. I'm just layering these. I'm building layers and what I'm going to do is run this through just a simple straight stitch and get all of these different layers stitched in. I'm going to start with this one and stitch around and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a larger one and then you'll start to see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so this is the first stitch that I've made around this image. Now, I would just say, um, personally, I would not use a dark thread because you're going to take away from that image. If you were to use a black, your eye is going to be drawn to that black thread versus I've used, a, I, um, this is a cream color. And so that way, because it's such a um, subtle image, now if you had a vibrant image here, you could choose any color. I mean, that's just my personal opinion because it will detract from the image itself, which is your focal point. So that is our first stitch. Now the next thing I want to do is, is just come up here and go around this one. So I'll probably just go up. And around that one and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to frame it all out with a square okay okay guys I hope now I'm trying to get some of these threads pulled away because I know that can be quite distracting um, I hope now that you can see that I've kind of framed this out and don't worry about the white showing here because we're going to come back with other little bits the next thing 
I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pinking shears and I am just going to, I'm being careful not to, to cut my um, through where I just stitched. I'm going to now just start trimming this away. <clears throat> I want to make sure that I get all of these layers, so bear that in mind. And it's quite thick. I'm work and what I'm working with is pretty thick now, so and I'm just gonna try to make a little square here. Oh boy, I'm so sorry about this wind, guys. This is this is uh whoa, what we're contending with all the time. Uh, it's really starting to wear wear us down, I gotta be honest. I don't know how people cope with it day in and day out, this, this high wind. Oof, it's awful. Alright, so that's where we are. Get all of those little bits of thread away. And we're not done yet. So the first thing I want to do, I don't have an eyelet, as you guys know, so I am going to punch a hole. I hope, I'm hoping this is going to go through over here. Oh, I hope this will work, guys. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to have to have a plan B. I thought for sure I'd be able to do that. I'm going to come up with something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some bits of lace and we're going to cover this white part up first. Sorry guys, I had to grab this. Uh, I've got some little different laces and things. So I'm just going to grab some bits and pieces and start adding. Kind of like the idea of that one there. Because that's a little bit on the plain side. And I want a button for sure, so let me grab a button. guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, I am actually looking for some embellishments I picked up the other day. Ugh, and now I'm not finding them. So just give me a sec. Okay, guys, I found what I was looking for. And the other thing I ended up doing, I just took um, and punched a little hole with the owl and just tied a bit of that uh, hemp string. And what you could do then, I'm going to snip this a little bit, um, you could tie another bit up here if you want to have that hanging in your journal, but I like the idea of it just being tucked in a little pocket. 
So yeah, I quite like this. I think this is sweet. So we're not going to, we're going to finish this up. Let me get my needle here. Somebody showed a quick way to do this, and uh, I can't remember it now on how to tie those knots. <laughs> I know that's probably not the right way, but I'm self-taught, guys, so bear with me. So I'm just going to put that little button down in that corner. I think that's sweet. There's some little laces. I got a really nice batch of laces at that thrift store I've been talking about to you guys. Um, I just try to go in there, you know, every day or every couple of days. And one day I lucked up. There must have been somebody who was a sewer. And uh, I got loads of scrap laces for so cheap. <laughs> I was so happy. Um, and if you wanted to finish this off to where you could have a little secret writing space, absolutely this could be backed with some paper and that would work. We're not going to do it today because this is just going to be a little pretty. So the next thing I've got, I picked these little flowers. Aren't they beautiful? I love that color combination. You guys know that's my favorite colors right there. And I just thought that would be really pretty up here. Now they've got oh I thought there was a little glue stick on those but um, it's kind of hanging off a bit more than I would like. All right, I'm just going to put a dab of glue, and hopefully that's going to hold this. If not, you can stitch that. But I want it right there against that hemp. And there you go. Um, I think that is just so precious to put in a pocket and you saw that was minimal supplies and I think the impact of that I just think it's going to be gorgeous in a nature journal any journal uh, get these few little strings here so there you go guys how quick and easy is that if you want to back that with some paper feel free to do so um, but I think that's going to be beautiful in a little pocket or you could even just glue it and take the string off completely and that could just be, um, let me get a sheet of paper here. If this was your journal page, if you just didn't have those on there, how pretty just as a little tuck spot. That's probably not the right color page. Let me see if I got one. probably the closest. That would be pretty as a, a little corner adornment. So there you go guys. I hope that you have enjoyed that. That's a super quick little uh, embellishment for your journal. So take care and I'll be back very soon to share some more of these ideas with you. Bye bye.